Hello, Salesforce Chef here. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. And to make your day even better, I prepared this video on a topic on a question that's probably been bugging you. As an aspiring Salesforce developer, as someone who has no Salesforce experience, how can you get your first Salesforce job? Have you thought about this? I'm sure you have. If that's a question that has been bugging you, please watch this video to the very end. I've prepared seven steps of how you can get your first Salesforce job with no experience. You ready? Are you liking this video so far? If so, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's go! The first step is you need to get your Salesforce certifications. I suggest getting six Salesforce certifications, starting with Salesforce Admin, Advanced Admin, App Builder, Sales Consultant, Service Consultant, Platform Developer One. And to put a cherry on top of these certifications, I suggest Scrum Master certification. All right? So in total, get seven certifications. That's very important. As someone who has no Salesforce experience and perhaps even no IT experience, certifications help make up lack of trust in your capabilities. The certifications show that you're a very fast learning person, you're a passionate person, and once the company hires you, onboards you, you will start delivering results very fast. So it's very important that you get the six Salesforce certifications, okay? The second thing I suggest is build a personal Salesforce app. Think about a hobby you have or a certain passion you have. Maybe you have a side project. Maybe you have some certain passive income. Can Salesforce help you organize information around it better? It has helped me. For example, I am passionate about real estate. I have a bunch of properties. I have a whole bunch of tenants and I use Salesforce to keep track of my tenants. When they have moved in, how much the rent is, when they supposed to pay rent. I also keep track of what improvements I've done to the house, how much I've paid for those improvements, what HVAC system I've bought, etc. So similarly, please see how can you use Salesforce for your personal needs. Make Salesforce very personal. And in your personal app, use as many of the things as possible that you've been learning. Use validation rules, use process builders, lightning flows, lightning web components, edit the page layouts, use some record types, etc. Basically, use as many of the features of the things you've been learning through Trailhead, through the certifications as possible in your personal app, okay? And once you go for an interview, you can talk about this experience, okay? You can talk about the time you were doing this for your personal app. It's very powerful, okay? Here's my challenge for you. Before the end of the year, please start on your personal app. Okay, and once you get to your first interview, you should have something functional that you can talk about. Step number three, build your Salesforce network. You need to have a whole bunch of Salesforce allies, Salesforce friends. What do you think is the best way to do that? I think the best way to do that is for you to attend Salesforce community meetups. Set a goal of attending two Salesforce meetups every month. You have a choice of women in tech, Salesforce user groups, Salesforce developer groups, Salesforce admin groups. Take two that you find most interesting and go to them. Right now, pause this video, look in Trailblazer community groups, find the local Salesforce admin, Salesforce developer group, see when their next meeting is and RSVP for that, okay? It's very important that you attend these meetings so that you see other people who are also on their Salesforce journey. Make real friends with them, really, just Talk to them like you would talk to anyone. Find out how did they find their first job? How did they pass their certifications? One of the people might actually mention, hey, actually we're hiring for Salesforce admin. Would you be interested in interning for us? Or maybe even working for us? Wouldn't that be wonderful? So here's a goal. At each community meetup that you attend, make two friends, okay? You can do it. Step number four, have a strong online presence. When you're interviewing for a Salesforce job, and there is a Salesforce developer who's interviewing you, I guarantee you, after scanning your resume, you know what he will do? He will Google you and see what he can find. He will see what comes up for you. He will also check you on LinkedIn and see what shows up. He will see who are your friends, connections. Do you have any mutual connections? So what do you think I will suggest? I suggest to do two things. 
First, top plate well your LinkedIn profile. Indicate the Salesforce certification you got. Indicate the Salesforce app that you're building. Add very good detail to it. Add the functionality that you, it has. And connect to a lot of Salesforce people. You can connect to me. I would be happy to connect with you. And connect to a whole bunch of other people. I suggest you connect to 100 people within the next seven days. It's very important that you connect to Salesforce people. All right, adds credibility to you. Don't worry if you don't know them. And get used to using LinkedIn a lot. On your LinkedIn profile, indicate in the job preferences that you're looking for Salesforce developer job. Before you know it, Salesforce recruiters will start pounding at your door with inbox messages. Talk to them. Tell them that you're aspiring a developer and you're looking for a job. Some of them will give you some tips, advice, and maybe even set up an interview for you. It would be awesome if you share some interesting things on your LinkedIn profile. Write some posts about people or things you've learned at the community meetups. So that's about LinkedIn. What else can you do? I suggest making a YouTube video. Make one YouTube video a month about interesting things you've been learning about Salesforce. Perhaps how do you pass a Salesforce admin certification? How do you pass the Salesforce service cloud certification? If you don't like to make YouTube videos, if you don't want to edit videos, I suggest making a blog post on medium.com. It's a very good blogging platform, it's free. So either make a YouTube video or make a blog post. Step number five, offer to do Salesforce work for cheap or for free. How can you do that? In the town where you live, see what are the major local nonprofits. Make a list of five, start calling them one by one. Talk to their IT manager or their CEO and see, are they using Salesforce? Do they need some help? Tell them that you're willing to do some work for them for free. I'm sure they will be happy to hear from you if you're using Salesforce and maybe they will offer you an internship. Getting your first Salesforce experience is not easy. Therefore, whoever gives you the opportunity to get that experience is awesome, okay? So look for that experience in your local nonprofits. Also, there is a website such as Catch a Fire where you can look for organizations that are seeking Salesforce help. And the third thing you can do to get Salesforce experience is create a profile on Upwork.com. It's the world's biggest website of freelance and offer to do Salesforce work for very cheap. Even go as three, four, five dollars. Okay, don't worry about it. It's not about the money. Getting your first Salesforce experience is golden. The sixth thing you should do is prepare for Salesforce interviews. Take the interviews very seriously. As someone who is new to the Salesforce echo space, someone who has no Salesforce experience, it is very important that you speak coherently, clearly, and concisely. Practice for the interviews. Record yourself. Practice with people you've met at the meetup groups. Look at the questions that are most frequently asked in Salesforce interviews. Practice answering them, okay? And review yourself answering the questions. Do you think you're doing a good job? Would you hire yourself? Can you answer the questions better? The seventh step is be persistent, be positive, be upbeat. You can do it. Spend three hours every day looking for a job. You will prevail. You will win. You will get yourself for a job. Once you do so, please leave me a comment. Tell me how your experience was. If there is something else you would recommend, I would be very happy to hear from you. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck. Enjoy the Christmas day and a great 2020.